Welcome to another thing where I stand in front of the camera and talk without pants on. Jam on toast! Oh, hi guys, I'm us. Welcome to the jam. I'm never walk camera like this. And today the toast is to Dot Hack Quantum. This is a response for Source Said Nerd Anime Club. Go check them out. So the short sale on this one is that three high school girls that play a full dive game referred to as The World get caught in an event where one of their friends gets trapped in the game even after she's disconnected. Her real life body kind of goes into a coma. And they investigate this and whatnot over three episodes. This is an OVA. My love for this was definitely the ending. I think Dot Hack has uh, had a good history of continuation. That's why they have like six different series, including this. But they close up the story, they wrap it up real nice, and they put like a little epilogue in to open it back up. I was amazed that they bothered to do that, so if you <laughs> we take the time to put that production into it. My hate for this one was kind of the lack of commitment on the part of the villain. After all these people get hurt and all this stuff happens, he just kind of waits for her to kill him. Uh, I, where's my villain that's super? I understand what he was and why it's like that, but the one thing I think that would have really made this better was if it was an epic battle instead of a sympathetic understanding. MVP for this one, as much as both of the main girls and the cat guy were major players, I really think Aaron's the pivotal player in this. MVP goes to Aaron. The friend that became the lost one, it really made the difference when it came down to it and Without that happening, there wouldn't have been any reason for them to continue the investigation or linking up with the other investigators. Now let's get on to the categories. Aesthetics. This is a beautiful looking anime. It's very crisp, clean, and high production value. It's done in a very aesthetically pleasing way. I like how everybody looks. Uh, the cat guy is cute as hell. I was just like, oh, kitty cat character. Because I don't know what it is about anthropomorphic cats, but they're usually pretty pleasing. Uh, in one way or the other, especially when they start doing weird mannerisms. And especially when they start showing the real world versus the world versus the dark parts of the world that are being commanded and spreading out. And when the world starts changing to shift, it's really pretty amazing. I, I'm really happy with how this anime looks. Aesthetics gets a 92. Character development. Now, pushing aside the fact this is like the sixth and like six series or whatnot and there's references to all this other stuff blending on the other games and obviously the game referred to as the world has been an ongoing thing there's even the instant they mentioned like from five years ago there's a whole backstory that we're missing from police woman's side the investigators the our main set of girls we really don't know much about them but they do a pretty good job of catching us up in a very short period very happy with this, uh, but we are missing a whole lot of it, and I'm wondering if I don't go back and watch if it had leaned on that. Character development gets an 85. Storyline. The story in this is pretty good, even over three episodes. They put a lot into this. It reminded me heavily of Sword Art Online, but not quite as good. I like the idea of people being trapped in a full dive game. The way the structure was for this wasn't nearly as compelling to me. Again, I didn't like the way the villain took a stance. I much would have rather had like someone who was motivated. Because when you boil the story down, it comes to like some kind of big misunderstanding for a good cause. That's not a good story. Let's have an epic battle. Let's have a triumph of some kind. It doesn't even have to be a fight. Just to overcome the adversity and have our heroes triumph a little bit. Storyline gets an 88. Compulsion. There was no way I was turning this off. That said, after discussing this with some other people, I didn't remember some parts of it, so obviously I fell out of things. There were little references to other characters, apparently, that completely blew by me, and I think those were the parts that I forgot because they didn't seem important. And wandering around watching people play an RPG and just looking at the world is not the most intriguing, but it does allow for exposition that we need, so that is important to have. But unfortunately, the exposition wasn't that interesting, so when the dragon shows up and they stop talking, that is much more interesting. That's where you get into it. This is interesting because of the things that can't happen in the real world that happen in the world, and that can be more confusing to say if I tried. Compulsion gets an 85. Now if you total all that up, you get an average of 87.5. For my rep review, I've definitely gotta say, if you have an hour and a half, check this out. 
It's the length of a normal movie, over three episodes. They put a lot into it, and it's all done really well. And I still think it's a short enough time that you didn't really waste too much time with an anime if you didn't like it. But I think most people would be pleasantly surprised. I, for one, am going to go back and start watching Dot Hack Sign, and hopefully I'll get into that and continue on through the rest of the series. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm Camry. Have a nice day. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels.